All right, so first problem for fluid mechanics, manometers. Two pipes that are connected by a manometer determine the pressure difference. So we start at point A, and we pretty much just want to get the pressure difference between these two points right here. And using, obviously, there's water in this column right here. There's a fluid in this one up until that line right there. And then water again all of this so we want to determine what the pressure difference is between this point and this point so first we start off with our knowns let me write that down knowns so we're dealing with water so we need another specific weight of water it is 9810 newtons per meter cubed now by this point, you pretty much know that, right? It's density times gravity. Gravity is 9.81. Density of water is 1,000. So we also get the specific gravity of the fluid. It's 2.6. Now, specific gravity, that equation is pretty easy. Um, it's just the specific gravity of a fluid is equal to the density of the fluid over the density of the water. How much heavier is the fluid in terms of water, if that makes sense. But that is also a ratio of the specific weight of the fluid over the specific weight of water, right? Because to get from here to here, you just multiply by gravity to both sides. It's a constant. So it's pretty much the same thing. Um, to get the specific weight of the fluid, it's just the density of water multiplied by 2.6, what's given. Uh, that will give you 25,506 newtons per meter cubed. So we got those two out the way. That's gonna make this pretty easy. It's a pretty straightforward problem, fortunately, no angles. No conversions from meters or millimeters. Some questions like to fool you like that. So let's go to step two. That is going to be, so the route we're going to take. So this is how I learned this kind of stuff. Um, we're starting at point A, right? So we write that down. Oh, not yet. I'll put start at point A. So we're going to start here. And we're going to work our way to point B. So you start here. And anytime you go down, that's a positive. Anytime you go up, that's a negative. And well, in this case, we're going to come back down. So it's going to be a positive again. Then we're going to set that equal to our destination, was it, which is point B. So I'll put start at point A and end at point B. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's put it step three. Start at point A. So we'll put pressure at A. You work your way down to the first um, separation between water and the fluid. So the pressure at from point A all the way down here it's just, it's a, we're going down, so it's a positive. It's the gamma of the fluid, which is water, times your height. In this case, I'll just put height one for now, just to not confuse you guys. And then we know the pressure here, it's the same here because it's the same fluid. So it's like the pressure here will be the same pressure here. This one right here, along this line, it's all the same pressure, that's kind of what we do so we work our way all the way up to here this pressure is the same this pressure is the same now now we're here we didn't we don't have to do anything because it's the same liquid same height boom boom we just traveled now this is the next division right here so we're going up and when we go up that's a negative so we're going to negative gamma of the fluid right all this is gamma fluid times 0 0.6, this height, up until this line. Uh, well, actually, 
you know what, just to not confuse you guys, this is height one, right there. This is height two, from this point to this point. And then this height, same here, because all of this is water, so we just transfer all the way over here. And height three will be this one. So let's bring this out up until point B. Let's go all the way down, height three. Cool, height three is not 1.3. So what I'm trying to say is from here to here, pressure is the same and our working fluid is water. So height three is pretty much 1.3, everything minus this height right here. It's just from here to here. So let's go back to where we were. Gamma of the fluid times our height. Height two, there we go. I just wanted to get these labeled. Um, we work our way all the way over here and we are going down. So it's gonna be a positive. So gamma of water times H3. And that's the last one, we arrive at point B. We set it equal to point B. We do not add point B or subtract. You set it equal to it. So we know our gamma of water, height one, height two, height three, gamma of fluid. It should be a plug and chug. So let's do PA plus 98.10 times height one. That's just 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6. That is 1.1 minus gamma fluid, right? Well, we're just plugging in the equation. We determine that here, 25, 506. I'm not putting in the units because, I mean, at this point you should know specific weight is newtons per meter cubed times a meter. That's gonna give you newtons per meter squared which is a Pascal, which is a pressure. So 25506 times height two, 0 0.6, right? That's our height two, plus gamma of water. That's 98.10 times our height three. Now height three, like I said, it's 1.3, this whole height minus this little portion right here, which is 0 0.5. 1.3 minus 0.5, that is 0 0.8. Close parentheses, set it equal to PB. Cool. So just keep in mind it's asking for PA minus PB. So we're just going to move this. After we get all this algebra sorted out, we're going to move it that way to the right side. So let's do PA. If you multiply that out, you will get... 10791. This is a newton per meter, uh, newton per meter squared, newton per meter squared, newton per meter squared. So we should be good. Everything is in pressure. Do the math here, you get 15303. Do the math there, you get 7848. These two right here, we set it equal to PB. PA. Get these three combined, you get positive three, 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 six is equal to P, B, and that, yeah, P, A minus P, B will be negative 3.34, let's just round that up, kilopascals, or I mean you could keep it as 3,000. 336, obviously negative, Pascal's, it's pretty much the same thing. So that's our answer. So <clears throat> there are, in this example, two takeaways, in my opinion. You need to know this formula now. Eventually it'll stick to you. Um, specific gravity is pretty much, what I like to do is always just multiply by a thousand. When it's newtons and meters, when it's pounds per feet, it's a different story. Um, fortunately in this, um, metric system for SI, 2.6 times a thousand will give you the density of 2,600. Um, what is that? Damn. 
Density is newtons per meter squared. No, that's not right, right? Kilograms per meter cubed. So SG times density of water will give you 2,600. It's just this times 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. That's an easy way to remember it. Just multiply by 1,000. And if you want to get specific weight, multiply this by 9.81. And that should give you this number. Um, last thing, the other second item, how to come up with this equation. So like I said, any manometer problem, you always start off at one point. You add things along the way or subtract depending if you're going up or down. We went down, so that's positive. We went up, so that's negative. And we came back all the way down, so that's positive. And you set it equal to your destination. You do not add or subtract. And that, if you keep that in mind, that's going to get you through every exam. It got me through every exam. Never came across an issue. Well, till now, right? But that should work. Um, yeah, that pretty much sums up this one.